What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Jennifer and I'm testifying from Pennsylvania, United States. Three years ago, my, one of my son was diagnosed with autism, non-verbal autism. And at that time, I was living in New York. A year ago, I just moved down to Philadelphia here where we found an amazing church. And one of the sisters at church introduced me to NSPPD. So I started to join NSPPD in end of July, like that, yes, if I remember this year. But every time when Pastor Jerry pray for the kids with um, Down syndrome and autism, I, I pray for my son, I always pray for my son. And when anybody just testify about the kids that have mental delay, I always connect myself to the, prof to the testimony and I say, I will testify one day for Israel. So two weeks ago, the school called me and they told me that we need to have a meeting. And I said, okay, what is going on? And they said, oh, we need to know what did you do to Israel? But Israel, everything is just reversing. Israel was not able to speak. Israel is, that, Israel is talking now. Israel, we can understand Israel without he, without too much difficulties. Israel, now we can bring Israel to different classes because Israel is going to a special needs program in a regular school. So my son is in a different class when other kids, the same age kids, go to the regular program because of the behavior. So now they told me that they are changing his his behavior is just changing overnight. They don't understand what's going on. If I have a secret to tell them the secret and the teacher asks me, mommy, tell me what really happened. And I say, oh, it's only God, God happened. And she started laughing because the same teacher was telling me that my, my son will never be able to speak, that they need to give my son a tablet. And on the tablet, my son, the tablet will be speaking for my son and I refused that. And it was challenging. So when she, she was telling me, oh, your son can talk now and your son can go to the regular class for 30 minutes or 45 minutes a day without acting up, your son is able to write his name now and we're working with more academic stuff with him than behavioral stuff. So we need to change his IEP because he can no longer stay with the special need program for too long. We are just monitoring him but now, anytime we want to ask other children to do stuff, we just tell them, guys, follow what Israel is doing. Israel is now the leader of the classroom. And I just want to give God the thanks because God reversed the autism for my son. My son will be able to, to enjoy Israel more. We can go out with Israel without having to think about the behavior no more. It's just like a regular kid. Um, my, my heart is full of joy. I just want to thank you, Pastor Jerry, for all you do, for the NSPPD crew, for the NFTG team of prayer. Thank you so much, and God bless you.